for the hospital capacity at the quote unquote apex. We need 140,000 beds. We have 53,000 beds. That's why we're scrambling, and that's why we're asking you to do as much work as you're doing. We need 40,000 ICU beds. The ICU beds are the intensive care unit beds. They have ventilators. Uh, we have, uh, when we started, 3,000 ICU beds with 3,000 ventilators. So you see how monumental the task, how monumental the mountain that we have to climb. Uh, of the 140,000, how do we get to the 140,000? As I said, all hospitals increase by 50 percent. Some hospitals will increase 100 percent. They're going to get the Gold Star Hospital Award. I don't know exactly what that means, but we'll figure it out later. FEMA and the Army Corps and the National Guard have been working to put up these emergency hospitals. So far, we have planned for four, the one we're in today at the Javits Center, one in Westchester County Center, one at Stony Brook, and one at Old Westbury. That would be 4,000 additional units. Uh, they are all underway as we speak, not as far along as your good work at Javits, but they are on their way. Again, with all of these beds, we still have a shortfall. So we're going to go to plan B. What's plan B? We're going to uh, seek to build another four temporary emergency hospitals, which would get us another 4,000 beds. Uh, and we just have been scouting sites for a few days. We have settled on a few sites working with the Army Corps of Engineers, and I'm going to ask the President today if he will authorize another four temporary hospitals for us. I want to have one in every borough. I want to have one for the Bronx, Queens, Manhattan, Staten Island, Brooklyn, one for Nassau, one for Suffolk, one for Westchester, so everybody knows downstate, which is where the essence of the density is right now that everyone equally is being helped and is being protected. Uh, we looked at a site in the Bronx at the New York Expo Center. It's a 90,000 square foot site. Seeing what we did here, we think it would work very well. And again, the Army Corps of Engineers has worked with us and looked at all these sites and thinks that these sites work. One in Queens at the Aqueduct Racetrack site 100,000 square feet there. One in Brooklyn, what's called the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. It's owned by the Port Authority, but it's a wide open space. We can convert it very easily, 182,000 square feet. And in Staten Island, the College of Staten Island, which is a CUNY facility, 77,000 square feet. Again, inside can be converted. It has power. It has uh, climate control, et cetera. We would do the same thing that we've done here successfully, so we know it works, we know it's feasible. Uh, building the interior space, we have exterior space that we could put up a temporary tent for supplies, equipment, et cetera. Uh, that would give us coverage all across the downstate area with proximate facilities to every location downstate, uh, and frankly, is the best plan that we can put together and execute in this timeline. Uh, we also have, beyond the next phase of temporary hospitals, uh, if the White House grants that request, we have the Navy ship Comfort coming up that is going to be on its way soon. It's going to be right here in New York Harbor. It is a massive facility in and of itself, 1,000 beds, 1,200 medical personnel, 12 operating rooms. It has a pharmacy. It has a laboratory. Uh, and it should be here on Monday. So uh, that will also uh, help us in this uh, quest. And then we're looking at dormitories and converting dormitories downstate. We're looking at city college dormitories, 
Queens College. Uh, we have the dormitories because the colleges are closed and the uh, students have left, so we actually have dormitories that we can convert. We're also looking at hotels and nursing homes. Uh, we're looking at the Marriott Brooklyn Bridge Hotel and a uh, nursing home called Brooklyn Center. Uh, so as you can see, we're looking far and wide, very creative, aggressive, and finding all the space that we can possibly find and converting it to be ready in case we have that overflow capacity.